We don't do peace signs. We do this. Let's see, the Sweller started in 2002. It was my brother and I, Jonathan. And it was him and I and our friend Nate. And then we've been a band for seven years now. Uh, well, we've been playing music since we were nine and ten. Check out the thickness. <coughs> Are you down with the thickness? In thickness and in health. <laughs> the second we got out of high school, we signed to Search and Rescue Records, and then we just started touring. So that's kind of what happened. We ended up deciding to become a full-time band and go on tour, and we've been doing that for the past three years. I didn't do anything at the time, and uh, I knew they were a good band. I've toured with them before. I was into it, so I was like, "Yeah, let's do it." I just took my band on tour last year. And uh, I just clicked with John and Nick, Jonathan and Nick, really well. And yeah, and then uh, they asked me to join. Yeah, buddy! Then it's impossible. How do you feel about this yeah, momentous buddy. day? It's delicious. Oh. Was it momentous Dave or day? I'm not sure. I actually was going for a walk, talking to some people about, you know, how record labels aren't signing bands that deserve it anymore, how people are just signing the same old thing over and over again. And we got an email after sending a bunch of demos out, and it was fueled by Ramen. And we were kind of skeptical at first. You know, they put out a lot of real big bands, and uh, we're just a bunch of kids from Michigan, you know, just hanging out playing punk rock. We didn't know really what they had in mind for us, but we made the record, and we kind of sent it to them and said, "Hey, this is what we have. Do you? What do you think?" And um, they liked everything about it, and they didn't want to change anything. Uh, ever, everyone at Field of Ramen, the staff is just great people. Good, good to hang out with. I feel like we're at home with them, so it's definitely a good choice, easy choice to make. We're putting a record out in the fall. We're doing a 7-inch this summer. Uh, is this the right pen? It's the best pen. Oh, because it looks like a marker. Is that okay? Yep. I just spelled my name wrong. Uh, I think the best part about touring is it's pretty much a paid vacation, you know? Even if we don't make a ton of money out on the road, we can still go to all of our buddies' houses, party out, you know, all night with them, play a show, spend time playing music that we like to play, and see the world, you know? We've been to Japan, we've been all over the U.S., Canada. It's been a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll get to go to Europe real soon. And... A band called the Wilhelm Scream that we're friends with now uh, kind of showed us a different direction you could take music. And then uh, I think Dave Grohl in general, just as far as Nirvana, Foo Fighters, all that stuff. Tony and Joey from No Use for a Name and Lagwagon. I've been getting into a lot of more versatile songwriters lately. Just any like bands like Not a Surf, people who could put out eight albums and just have each one consistently be good. Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. So Weezer, the Get Up Kids, Jimmy World. I kind of started listening to a lot of those types of bands, and then also the punk rock bands and. I was never really in between. I think that's where our sound kind of came from a lot. Oh, I got donut all over it already. <laughs> donut do that. Donut do that. <laughs> Funniest band in the world. I would love to tour with a band like the Foo Fighters. Uh, Van Halen tour with Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, uh, Strung Out, Get Up Kids. Maybe get Andrew WK to headline. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Well, definitely Green Day. I'd love to tour with them. One of my favorite bands. Anything from, you know, playing basements to playing big stages. It's just so much fun. And so being paid to do what you love, even if it's peanuts, is pretty great. I'm still in the band because I'm sweet. Uh, wait, what's the question? <laughs> We're pretty excited to, you know, bring some punk rock into the Fuel by Ramen world. And hopefully we can get a bunch of chocolate for free. <laughs> I love chocolate. Staying on the road every single day, driving eight or nine hours, then you get to where you're playing, you play for half an hour. It's kind of like, like you're a truck driver. I've always said that. We spend most of our time driving, a little bit of time playing, but it's worth it in the end to see everybody.